Members of Parliament by the DUP's Chief Whip, Geoffrey Donaldson. Geoffrey Donaldson, I'm presuming you could hear uh, the, the, the previous interview. You can hear the strength of anger there. Why did Eileen Foster just not resign before she was pushed? Well, uh, why would Arlene Foster resign when there's no evidence that she's done anything wrong? Um, why would she uh, resign at the, the behest of Sinn Féin when Martin McGuinness, the Deputy First Minister, uh, was under scrutiny in the Savile Inquiry into Bloody Sunday? Did he step aside during that inquiry when it involved matters not about some heat incentive, but uh, people who'd lost their lives on the streets of Londonderry? He didn't step aside. So, you know, Sinn Féin... Uh, and the double standards are breathtaking. Right, but that sounds like double standards being used there as an excuse for her not to do, as Sinn Féin obviously feel was the right thing to do. If she'd stood aside and there had been a proper investigation in the way Declan Kearney outlined, then you could have avoided the resignation of Martin McGuinness and the bringing down of power sharing. Well, it's Sinn Féin who brought power sharing down. It's Sinn Féin who've torn up the Good Friday Agreement. It's Sinn Féin who've put the peace process at risk. It's Sinn Féin who've abandoned people uh, today in Northern Ireland who face welfare reform. Uh, it's Sinn Féin who've made it impossible now to have an independent investigation into the RHI situation. Um, all of these things have happened because Sinn Féin have walked away from the table. Look, when you're in government, you have to take responsibility. You've got to face the challenges. You don't run away from them. Right. The DUP wants an independent investigation. Arlene Foster will cooperate fully with that investigation. Um, but Sinn Féin have... Uh, um but that's because if we take what uh, Declan Kinney said at face value, trust had completely broken down. Do you accept his claims and allegations that the DUP are no longer committed to the principles and values of the Good Friday Agreement? You're not, a, you're not committed to equality, to treating your power-sharing partners equally, and that that is what's led to this state of affairs? That is absolute bunkum. Look, Martin McGuinness, the Deputy First Minister, is the former Chief of Staff of a terrorist organisation that was responsible for the murder of thousands of citizens in Northern Ireland. Uh, the attempted murder of the father of the First Minister, Arlene Foster, they tried to kill Arlene Foster's father, the IRA, at his farm in County Fermanagh. And despite all of that, despite all of that, the DUP was prepared to move forward to go, to go into government with Martin McGuinness but and Sinn Féin. have you treated them so equally please in don't government? Talk about trust. Well, you no, know, we're I, talking I about a I'm putting what here. Declan Kearney has said in, in the interview. And what I'm saying to you is, while I understand um, the painful historical context that you have outlined, in power-sharing government, have you treated your power-sharing partner, Sinn Féin, in the sort of way that was outlined in the agreement? Yes, of course we have. Absolutely. We share power. Um, Sinn Féin have a uh, ministerial office in that government. But, you know, they're the ones who've walked away from power sharing. They're the ones uh, who talk about uh, a Conservative government imposing austerity. But guess what? They've just handed power back to the very Conservative government that they despise. Right, so you it think will a now period... be direct rule from Westminster. Right, and you think that will be necessary now, a period of direct rule to break this impasse? Well, I think we're in for a long period of direct rule now. And guess what? Big decisions are going to be taken here at Westminster about Brexit, about the future of Northern Ireland, about um, the livelihood of every single citizen. And Sinn Féin have just cut Northern Ireland out of that debate. They've, they've removed Northern Ireland's voice from the table. There will be no devolved ministers at the table to speak for Northern Ireland. But the DUP will be here at Westminster. Unlike Sinn Féin, we take our seats here. We will use our influence at Westminster for the good of every citizen in Northern Ireland. But the people that Sinn Féin represent in Londonderry, in Tyrone, in Fermanagh and Armagh, right along the border, whose livelihoods depend on the decisions that will be taken about Brexit, they will have no voice All right. because Sinn Féin have abandoned them. They've walked away from power sharing and um, they've uh, handed the reins of power back to the direct rule ministers so let's not hear any crocodile tears from Sinn Féin about austerity and about Brexit right, they're Jeffrey the people Donaldson. who've given up on power sharing and abandoned the Good Friday Agreement not us right and we're no doubt hear more from the Secretary of State later on today Jeffrey Donaldson there in central lobby